Hey guys, I want to let you know that this is our very last weekend to sign up for small groups. Um, we are all doing in the church the series called James by Francis Chan. It is a eight week study that is going through the book of James and Francis Chan does an awesome job going through it. And if you're interested, you guys can sign up online. Just go to calvarytemple.org forward slash small groups. It'll be here on the screen. But if you'd like, if you kind of want more help, want more information about it, you can stop by the kiosk on any of our weekend services this week week and I will be there as well, as well as a lot of other people so feel free to come on by and ask any questions um, and we'll hand you guys a participant guide um, there are no books that you buy for this series at all just paper um, so again this is our very last week group start next week so the um, the week after Easter make sure you come on by and we hope to see you Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video vlog. The title of this week is gonna be called Overcame. And I've really been focusing a lot just this past month of March um, on the cross, on the resurrection. And during my prayer time, my devotion time, I've just been really trying to wrap my head around what happened on the third day. Um, and I really wanna share with you guys just a quick devotion, but I want you to take away from it just really pausing and remembering what the cross means and what Jesus overcame, which was death. Um, and more so, what you've overcame in your life because of the life that Christ has given you when he died on the cross for all of our sins. Um, so this week we're gonna be reading in John, um, 1 John 5, 1 through 5. And it says, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God and everyone who loves the Father loves his child as well. This is how we know that, that we love the children of God, by loving God and carrying out His commands. In fact, this is love for God, to keep His commandments. And His commands are not burdensome, for everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. And in that scripture, it's really just saying the power that Christ first overcame, the power that he came down into the earth to be man in the form of God, and he overcame death. He overcame something that was completely impossible. But because he was the Son of God, that is how we know that he overcame the world. And through the life that he, he died for us, for all of our sins, we too have the power to overcome. And personally in my life, um, I reflect a lot when Easter comes around on who I was before God got a hold of me. Um, I was someone who was living in darkness and I was angry. I was so angry. I had no idea what love was, what joy was, or anything that was of God. And the moment that God met me where I was, the moment where he, he really rescued me from that, that really dark place, I experienced life. I was completely transformed. I was completely renewed. I was created and formed by God in a way that I never thought I would be. Um, I really experienced the, I'm not even kidding, the second that I met Christ was, I felt joy. I felt pure joy. I felt the joy of the Lord and, and joy and happiness is so different, but joy is something that is only based and really, um, is meaningful because it's coming from God. Happiness is something that's that's of the earth, that is um, off of circumstances or, or happenings, but joy comes from God. And that is something that I just have to always look back when I remember um, Easter is, is what the cross means and what it means to me and what I overcame as a person. So behind me right now are people. And we're down here in the youth um, ministry and I just see people, I see people's stories. I see people who have overcame so many different things in their life. And I wanna challenge you guys this week, <clears throat> as we approach Easter, as we approach Good Friday, the day that Jesus died, 
What is your story? What did you overcome because of God, because of the life that Jesus laid down for you? And really take that time to go back, go back to that place and, and celebrate the life that Jesus laid down, but more so really the life that you've been born into freely because he died for you. And just take some time and meditate and think about that. Hope you guys have a great week and a great Easter and we'll see you next time.